Good morning, kindergarten. It's Friday. It's our last day of school this week. Um, and then we only have three more days next week. Can you believe that? Um, I really can't. That's It's too quick. I can't believe that we're almost done. Um, this weekend is graduation. So the kids, the, the oldest kids in the school that are seniors, they're in 12th grade. Um, they're graduating and I think it's recorded and we'll, we can watch it on our computers and stuff. So that's exciting. Some of you might know people graduating. My cousin McCartney is graduating, so I'm excited for that. Let's talk about what we're doing today. Today's schedule, class meeting, morning work, reading groups, literacy block, and math. I think today is gonna be a pretty quick day. Um, nothing should take too long, so you can maybe play outside a little bit. Um, let's talk about our calendar. Yesterday was the fourth, what comes after four? Five. And then we only have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday left of next week. Three more days and that's it. Um, let's choose a voice. Today is Friday, June 5th, 2020. Guess what? I woke up and there was rain coming down this morning, which is not awesome. I would like that to go away right now. Hopefully, Hopefully it will. Um, don't forget to do your name, first and last name, and then your address. I think that's it. Let's do morning work. Morning work. Please write your name at the top. And then um, we'll fill in the sentences with the word that fits from the box. Remember yesterday, there were some that are a little bit tricky. So a couple of the words could have possibly fit. Let's see if any of those do that today. On, off, for, of. All right. Oh no, I think we got it. Okay. Number one, keep out blank here. Keep out on here. Keep out off here. Keep out for here. Keep out of here. I think it's of. Keep out of here. That means please don't come in. Keep out of here. Number two, put your hat blank. Put your hat on, put your hat off, put your hat for. I think put your hat on makes the most sense. Number three, would you like to go blank a walk? Would you like to go off a walk? Would you like to go for a walk? I think it's four. And the last one, take your shoes blank. The only word we have left is off. Take your shoes off. That makes sense. We know on, off, for, and of. And here's our sentences. Keep out of here. Put your hat on. Would you like to go for a walk? Take your shoes off. All right, let's look down below. We get to do something new. We have some 10 frames. The directions say, write how many groups of 10 on the lines. So here is a group of 10, and here is a group of 10. How many groups of 10 are there? One, 
two. Two groups of 10. How about over here, how many groups of 10? One. How many groups of 10 down here? One, two, three, four groups of 10. And over here, one, two, three groups of 10. And we're all done. That was a quick one today. Front cover of our Unit 12 magazine. Two pointer fingers on the C. C says K, like a cow on a cab. What sound is this? Let's go around the eight, making the sounds and words. Ready? Begin. I, k, m, h, is, e, his, d, k, a, as, w, k, n, has, t, k, his, Let's open our magazine and turn one, two, three pages. We're on page seven with the crayons. Remember, we'll read page seven and then we'll read page eight. And you can keep going back and rewinding and practicing if you want. Um, you can read it on your own if you want, but. Um, Let's talk about picture words. This picture word is a cat named Edda and happy. All right, here we go. Ready? Begin. The cats. Matt wasn't sad. Matt was with Edda. He was a hit. And Etta was a hit. We did it, said Matt. Matt was a happy cat. Now, I'm going to read the next one. You can pause it now if you want and keep reading page seven, but I'm on page eight now, the very back page. All right, let's see. Happy and Etta again. Here we go, ready? Begin. Matt. Matt, the cat, was happy. He wasn't sad. He isn't mad. Matt, the cat, is with Etta. The man sees Matt and Etta. Scat cats, said the man. All right, in your packets, the next page says spelling practice and it has some V words on it. That's what we're doing now, but then I wanted to also show you, I just put this one in there for fun. It's a dot to dot that you can um, go from each number to the next one to to do this side and then on this side is a letter V you have to start up here and only touch the letter V's and try to get down to the finish line okay so you can do this one on your own if you choose you don't have to do it if you don't want to but we're going to work on this one right now and just like before if you want to do different colors like I do you can I'm going to start with my black crayon to trace them all and to practice um, reading them a n van v e t vet a v have v est vest one of those tricky words.
which we've been working on forever, said. And another tricky word, what? So our words are van, vet, have, best, said, what? I'm going to write them three times and then choose the word that looks like I did my very best writing. I, I think my last one looks the nicest. I'll use orange for the next one. Vet. Vet is an animal doctor. We have some vets in our town that help us when our animals are sick or injured or when they have to get shots just like kids do. Um, I think this one looks the best. Vet. What color am I doing next? Looks like red. For have. Have is one of those sight words we've worked on for a long time. Mm, at least this one is my best writing. Green. Vest. You know, I left my red vest in our classroom. I'm going to have to go in this summer and get it. Vest. And vest. Um, I think this one. I miss using those smelly markers. Those were lots of fun. Remember those when you guys would get to choose. I'm going to use this kind of bright pink. Or said. Said is a word we first started practicing in reading group time. Do you remember that? Probably in like October or November. Which feels like a million years ago. Said. Um, I think this one. All right, one more word. What? What color am I going to pull out? I got purple. What starts a lot of questions? You know when we use that question mark at the end of a sentence? A lot of questions start with the word what. What are you doing today? What's your favorite color? What, what, what? I like this one the most. Okay, this one two-sided? No, so just this side. Uh, make sure you uh, circle the ones that your favorite from each line. Let's get out our math workbook. We're on lesson 19 today, so I'm just gonna pinch a whole bunch. We're going all the way up to page 75. Page 75 looks like this. There are some fun pictures. Oh, this we're taking away. So listen to my um, sentences and then we'll do what they say. The cat ate three mice. Cross out three mice. Write how many mice are left. How many are left? Just one. The fish ate two worms. Cross out two worms. Write how many worms are left. Two, three. The frog ate five flies. Cross out five flies.
how many flies are left. One, two. This monkey ate four bananas. Cross out four bananas. One, two, three, four. Write how many bananas are left. One, two, three, four. Oh dear, you didn't see any of that. I'm sorry. There's the monkey. He ate four bananas and there are four left. I, I don't think you saw all the frog either, did you? The frog ate five flies. There are two flies left.